it's final time to do a tour of my Iveco Daily camper van. And there it is. With the normal carpenting skills, you will also be able to convert a Iveco Daily into a camper van in just one week. Let me show you mine in this uh, van tour. It's the 2006 Iveco Daily with the, the 3 liter 166 horsepower engine and then the 6 speed semi automatic gearbox. It has had almost 200,000 miles or 360,000 kilometers, but I decided to buy it because of the price and the fact that it was uh, in fairly good shape mechanically and also not that much rust. Van tour of uh, my van that I have converted into a camper van. On the outside I've done nothing other than adding this uh, lead bar and uh, these four. You can see that uh, this is the long wheelbase version. It's uh, 7.3 meters long and it's the second highest version. I'm 186 centimeters. I have added a couple of things in here. Over here is the combined dash cam and reversing camera and over here I do have my mobile phone and this is the space for my uh, iPad or my GPS. I've also added several switches and uh, gauges. Uh, I have four USB outlets and then two regular 12 volt cigarette lighter outlets and then uh, also power buttons for controlling each set of uh, auxiliary lights. Over here is my hands-free device. It's a JBL trip and I usually have this one over here for the GoPro to record things as we go along. The previous owner was a orchestra or a band. They had insulated the whole storage compartment and divided it into two parts. So this is a combined sofa and bed and uh, both the floor and the ceiling is uh, insulated and covered in this uh, black or gray. This is the living area. Then there is a dividing wall so I can use the other half storage. Over here is a box that I have built myself. Uh, this is a cooling box and uh, this is my gray water tank. It's uh, not that fun or not that good looking right now but uh, it's basically connected to something over there. These are my two 20 liter water cans. That one is my bed. Also a standard sheet of plywood, which is supported by a couple of uh, small pieces and uh, space for about 12 of these white little uh, ones. These are regular small uh, boxes that you can buy from IKEA. So I can fit 12 of those, but I will still have some space left behind there. I use these to store food and my tools. Over here is uh, a extra light, power outlets and also some switches that are actually not being used right now. This part over here is just used for storage. All of the dry goods will be stored over there and also some extra clothes and uh, bed. It's just uh, two mattresses and then just one 12 millimeter sheet of plywood. The easiest way is actually to Put these two water bottles away when uh, not in use. It's good to have them in the middle while you drive just to keep uh, the weight balanced. So this is actually a table which is 80 centimeters by 50 centimeters so it will fit here perfectly. And we've got this uh, lovely Laguna table stand that will fit over here. And then like this. And like this. You can basically have this in different heights. And I can use this to eat, to uh, read, or to uh, have the computer. The lid of this box has been divided into two parts so that I can open them separately. In the first compartment I do have uh, two leisure batteries that are connected via a split charge relay to uh, the generator and I also have this uh, separate charger that can be connected to 230 volts. 
I also have a 300 watt power inverter. Uh, if I want to use something that uh, needs 230 volts. The second compartment opens like this. And uh, right now I basically use this for storage only. And as you can see, it's even super simple to put it back together again without removing the bed or changing anything else in this uh, living space. The Mubicool compressor cooler. I did chose this type of cooler because it can keep a steady temperature of minus 10 to plus 10 degrees Celsius. Currently it's basically empty. I only have several bottles of this lovely iced tea. And this one can actually run on 12 volt or 230 volts. So this is basically the kitchen area. I do have a microwave oven running on 230 volts. And then my sink, which is a kind of a bad <laughs> solution right now, but it's that's how it is. And then a 2000 watt induction cooktop that I've actually only used a couple of times. I also have this uh, water cooker, which also runs on 230 volts. This is the back of the Iveco, basically a big storage area right now. JBL Partybox 300 Bluetooth speaker, work light, my set of winter tires, the 2800 watt power generator, a box to connect to shore power, and my collapsible ladder. And this is what the back of the Iveco looks like empty. If you want to see more videos about travel and photography, you should comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.